we know that team's not staying together. And I feel like, you know, which guys they're going to hang on to. Honestly, if I was them, like, I know Stamkos is sentimental, but There's I'm some... right there with you. Actually. Yeah. I, I totally think that's the way to do it because you could lose like one guy like Stamkos or you could lose like, You've Five gave him guys. his two cups. Like, like he's got yeah. two of them now. Yeah. I think yeah. that's enough. Let him let him fly. Set him free. Yeah. I there totally are wh- agree. Friedman, or maybe not Friedman. Maybe it was Drager. One of them tweeted today, hearing whispers of Stamkos out of Tampa again. He which... doesn't need to be there. He really does. I mean, no, no, it's no offense to him because he he's done a ton for that team, being their captain <laughs> and everything. But I don't think he like makes that team that much better. You know what I mean? He's like, no longer that team's best player. And right. I don't think he has been for the last couple of years, actually. Right. The only Plus thing all would, the injury stuff, he just sees a question mark still too. Only thing I would say is, you know, you gotta be careful because it seems like everybody fucking loves him, especially Cooch and especially Hedman. And, you know, we're talking about a historic power play here. I don't know if there's the only other guy who I could maybe two other guys I could think of that I would want on that left side on the power play is Ovechkin and Pasternak. Stamkos is deadly right there. That one timer shot. So I'm not saying it's worth the amount of money they're paying him for the next, I think five or six years. He's not their best player and he is always injured, but you know, when you talk about morale and how much he's given and that's their captain, I don't know. We'll see, but there are whispers. I'm all for rumors. I love rumors.